Today in this six degree weather, we want to talk about knowing worldly enemies. And worldly enemies are really anybody who does things against the will of God. Now, a lot of people look at things differently, but we got to analyze it. It's not what the world may consider to be enemies, but what God would consider to be enemies. And those are people that are doing things counter to his will or his heavenly will. And that's the thing that I think we have to approach more than anything else as we look around the world and begin to recognize where it's happening. Let's take a simple example. If someone is encouraging or promoting anything that involves violence or, or unrest, it's not peace. That is against the heavenly will of God. And we've seen people like that all over the place. From, tops in political the arena to uh, just the common person on the street. But if we look at this carefully, we see that that has to do with anything to do with war, because we have a lot of warring madness in this world, which includes all kinds of uh, violence and um, you know uh, terrorism, different things like that. That's also what we're doing to the animals. We're terrorizing billions of animals every year. And it's not only the displaced people, but if we think about it, that our human attitude by being enemies of God are causing millions of human beings and billions of animals to suffer and die every single year. And when we see somebody involved in that or promoting it, either directly or indirectly with their money, what we're talking about is an enemy of God. So we can tell who they are. And we're not supposed to be like them. We're not supposed to participate in the things that they participate in or the things that they promote. We're to be different. We're to be God's children, God's peacemaking children. Amen.